it's Tuesday morning and we're ready to go from Bendigo. Spent the day in the motel room yesterday. Uh, it's all a bit nerve wracking because we've had a catastrophic fire warning declared for the Wimmera and we're going to be going on the Wimmera Highway. So yeah, timing there is not so good shall we say. So it's supposed to be 36 37 again today it was 36 37 well actually no it was about 40 yesterday had the car in the parking lot moved it into the shade in the morning um and then when i moved it tried to move it into the shade again in the afternoon um, after being distracted with work the car read 48 degrees so the poor car but luckily i didn't charge it to um to full when i got here on sunday evening i just left it at 30 because that's better and um yeah so i thought i'd just show you this is where i worked at this little desk here yesterday smashed the paper out uh this is the paper as we call the book so yeah you can see all the pages nicely done all the uh all the headlines done uh everything's there 24 pages perfectly done there's only one page left to come there page 22 basketball photo from Maggie that she took last night so we leave that for Danny to do in the morning but there's all the there's the paper all nicely done together so this is where this is where we worked smashing out the paper on the way back uh, very nice hotel here very nice room very nice people um, the charges are in the parking lot and uh, there was a bit of a uh, um, yeah, so very nice hotel room it is indeed, and there was a bit of a disagreement over the parking. Uh, as a van in the EV spot, and uh, Dr. Mars in his Tesla showed up, and Justin wanted me to move the car, but in the end we didn't really need to because the van guy woke up. Uh, so it's still dark, it's about 6pm, um, but I really wanted to get going. Oh, you can just see a glimmer of light there. So perfect timing by the time we pack the car up. Um, head out yeah, I'm a bit worried because they're right there's a heap of bush that you go through and some real back roads on the Wimmera Highway there right when you go through um, leaving Bendigo so I really want to get through that first uh, while it's still cool and get to Horsham and charge there before there's any power outages or it's too hot and then it's supposed to cool down the further west we go um, maybe stop for a brief stop in Caniva no, uh, Caniva? Yeah, I think Caniva. And then uh, Keith again, uh, charge there, and then we get to Murray Bridge. I don't really know what my plans are. So it's Tuesday morning, 6 o'clock. I'm on the ferry, booked on the ferry Wednesday afternoon at 3. So we'll have to wait and see. It means I'll have lots of time up my sleeve, don't need to rush. But I am rushing to get the heck out of this part of the world because there's a catastrophic fire warning and just want to keep going and get west um, get out of this bushland forest area and the high danger area and then keep going and then once we get to Horsham we get onto the main highway uh, west to Adelaide and then it should be okay um, and it gets cooler and we're not traveling through real back roads so let's get going showed you my hotel room here all good thanks for watching this trip and we'll report back when we're on the road charging up at the next town see ya okay it's just before 6 a.m oh sorry 6 30 maybe it's 6 a.m south australia time or seven i don't know if it's a half an hour ahead or behind but this is the scene of the crime where it got so hot yesterday oh my god horrible hotness 48 degrees there's the hotel room number one pole position over there there's Dr. Muzz's Tesla and the van that had to move. So we'll get in, squeeze in the car here past the Tesla Model Y. Got the sunglasses. Ooh. That fell off. So we charged to 90. 21 degrees. If only it could stay 21 degrees. All right, there we go. At Ninety maps. Hey Google, navigate me to the Charge Fox Charger at Horsham. 
navigating to charge fox charging station all right so saying two hours and 25 minutes 213 kilometers 42 percent when we get there and this is the road here bendigo right through that bushland woomera area um where the catastrophic fire danger is i wouldn't want to be traveling here through here this afternoon so i'm glad we're leaving at 6 30 and then once we get to horsham over here then we get onto the main um a8 highway to adelaide so that'll be i'll feel a lot safer then but we'll crank out this two hours and two and a half hours here in the morning go a bit slower while it's uh dark to avoid any animals hopefully and touch the pole star wood and everything's packed up got everything phone keys i must drop the keys off remember to do that and yeah so it's been a good stay in bendigo it's a lovely little town you saw, saw the walk through briefly that we did ate lots of food naughty 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 have to go on a diet when we get back home and um yeah pole stars ready to take us the rest of the way home so let's get going pole star two oh, i forgot to mention uh my lovely friend nirav who i met um does great work with all his stuff from the renewables electric cars etc uh, gave me this um, GME radio to test out which actually might come in quite handy today given that's where the fireys operate and farmers and stuff so we've got it scanning we'll leave that on the whole trip and get any forewarning of any fire danger um, listen to some interesting conversations on the way over here uh, taxi drivers in Albury uh, farmers at Violet Town and then just some randoms talking about water skiing and breast implants of all things <laughs> but yeah it's interesting to have this so we'll do a review back on the island with gme and maybe one of the farmers and test it out and um, yeah happy to do a review and then it's mine to keep which is a great thing and i'll write up a nice review for gme you actually helped out after the bushfires giving um discount radios to the farmers for their farm fire units which is appropriate for today's action so yeah we'll report back and let you know if we hear anything on the scanner Stop and turn around for this because this is something random and beautiful in it in the same time. Look at that poster on the road. Oh my god, Weezer. Sweater song. Look at that. On the Rimura Highway on a total fire ban day. Sunrise. It's actually really cool. It's 22 degrees, perfect temperature. But yeah, I just had to stop in the pop star. And check out Weezer, how cool is that? How cool is that?
B240 for 56 kilometers. But no, but no more think that I'm all sorry when I cry, for the laugh he come just the same. Keep it always with me. Continue on C241 for one and a half kilometers. Take the next left onto Wimmera Highway, B240. Continue on B240 for 56 kilometers. But no more think that I'm all sorry when I cry, for the laugh he come here so soon. That was not good. What kind of a shock was it? He thought he saw someone who recalled something terrible, something which led... We made it to Horsham. Uh, the scanner going on, people rabbiting on uh, each other. Like you, you're right inside, yep. 134 flashed up briefly there. So we arrived at 47, I think it was. We're only going to do 80 because we'll go to Caniva, try it there. Just having a leisurely trip today. <laughs> um, slowly going back down to 132. So it's 9.09 to 9.29, so exactly 20 minutes. Um, 20 minutes of charging to get from 47 to 80. And 134 was the max. And yeah, I was worried about the complete catastrophic fire ban day. Um, catastrophic fire situation. And I um, actually had a, a lightning flash up because we the big thunderstorms. I was going to stop and get a photo, but um, I didn't because I was just going along. So yeah, we're at the charge box stations here at Horsham. Whoa, look at the baggage, such hectic baggage there. Crazy baggage. Absolutely crazy baggage, even on the mirrors here so yeah well it's not hot it's only 28 degrees it is uh, very windy so this is the same charger where we stopped at before and here's a little black spot there I'm not sure what that's about so already taken 4.4 kilowatt hours up to 52 we're going 118 the 134 was the max so we'll do the plug share Fill up our water bottle from the back and keep going. Yeah, successful day. I'm expecting Danny from the paper to call to if she has any questions with my pages. So we're here in Horsham. So now we've made it. We've got no more quiet roads to go. No more back roads. Or unless we go Murray Bridge, Strath, Alvin, down to. Jer Victor Harbour, but we're all, we've got a big highway now, Adelaide A8. Um, very stormy, unsettled conditions, bit of wind action. But yeah, it's a lot cooler here. So I think I escaped the heat. It's supposed to be 37 in Melbourne today. It's one of the highest temps around the country I saw, even hotter than Alice. I think Alice was 38. Uh, yes, yeah. so we're on the ferry tomorrow at 3 be nice just to get on it a bit earlier but I'm not sure if I'll, if I'll bother with that or not. Uh, yeah, anyway. Might stop at Murray Bridge, check that out. Have lunch somewhere along the line and keep going. Thanks for watching. Okay, we're uh, almost there, 77. 
I checked, um, yeah, I might just stop at Caniva actually, just check it out at the Eevee there. Maybe then try and get from Caniva to Murray Bridge, maybe, just to mix it up. Never charged there yet. And it's saying we're going to get to Keith for 30. And saying we're going to finish at 9.31. 70, we're at 77 now. We're down to 54 kilowatts. I think it's a 50 kilowatt. Well, I know it's a 50 kilowatt EV at, uh, at Caniva. So I don't know what we'll get there with. Probably 60 or something like that, maybe. So we go from 60 to 80, maybe have a bit of something to eat in Caniva. I'm just going to get the heck out of this town. We had a quick call from Danny about the paper. Everything's going smoothly. 78. There's the map. There's some lightning strikes out there. Just to the south east or south east of us. Seventy-eight. So it's nine twenty-seven, and it's saying nine thirty-two is going to finish. So it looks like we just dodged the rain. That would have been good. Would have washed some of the hectic baggage off. So there you go. We'll finish up, unhook, and keep going. Thanks for watching. Ah. Yes. What was I going to say? 79. 932. 45 kilowatts. Range 430 kilometers. All this charging is so easy. Just get on the road and give it a go. Don't be so negative about it. It's easily done. And there's never been anybody at these charges that I go to. Because no one's brave enough to do it. No one's brave enough to do it. Get an electric car go for a road trip you'll have a great time all right we've stopped to get a picture of some cool silo art i know there's one other one worth stopping at at canalkin on the way back as well so we might stop there and get a photo but really actually quite like that it's an aboriginal fella um kneeling down at a looks like at a creek bank or something in the water and he's got a boomerang in his Boomerang in his um, hand, and uh, yeah, that's a great, great piece of silo art here in Horsham. Old star, just the silo art. Yeah, so lovely um, natural setting cultural significance there, the Aboriginal fella. Looks like he has a black cockatoo feather in his hat. I'm not sure what he's leaning down with his hand and picking up there in the water. Is it mud or something? Yeah. Might have to do some research and find out the meaning behind it. That looks great. Oh, it's over there on the sign. It's, so, uh, it's a bit of an explanation as to what, the, what it's about. And you can see he's crouching down there. Yang Yen Jing and Yuk. Yang Yang Jen Jin and Yuk. Yang Jen Jin and Yuk. Walking feet in the Wurriga language. His totem of the black cockatoo has been painted on the adjacent flour mill. Uh, so that was 2022. Art got completed 23. And I was down by world renowned street artist Mark Sam Bates. Smug is based in Scotland. Wow. It's fantastic. So you can read all the story oh, there about amazing. it. Amazing. See the cockatoo there? How cool is that? This has to be one of the coolest silo arts I've seen. For sure. Oh, look, and there's settlers back there, or people, white fellas, up in the tree there. They look old school. Look at that. You can see it through the hole in the fence. You don't get to see it all the way with this 
fence in the way, but you can see the bright red tail feathers. Magnificent. Almost, um, yeah, compares to our cockatoos on the King's Code silos. So cool. Very cool indeed. Stormy clouds as a backdrop. Awesome nurse. There's the the details by smug hyper realism amazing I still don't know what he's reaching down with his hand though what's he getting in the okay Garmin save video Okay, we're going to get a little traditional here. We've got a pasty, not a pie. Vanilla slice. And we're in Caniva. Charging at the EV station. Just a 50 kilowatt charger, use the bathroom, but it's already supposed to be we're getting from 55 to 80, I think we're going to do. So, yeah, it's already um, almost done. So, I have to hurry up and eat, or we'll be done already. Yeah, pasty. There's the pasty in there, so it looks pretty good. Vanilla slice, not too sure. She looks a bit weather worn, but anyway, I'm sure it'll taste good. And I was a nice little town, we're going to check out the silos and have our snack. Okay, I'd give the pie and pasty 7 out of 10. For both, I think they're both pretty good. We've come back and we're at 79 already, ramping down from down to 43, 48. We're getting 79, so it's only taken 21, 21 kilowatt hours. It's taken 27 minutes. Ramping down, it's kind of fluctuating between 43 and 44 that last one percent it's tempting not to go up but hey what's the point it's 200 and something 217 220 k's to tail and bend so we'll make it easy even though with the headwind so we'll unhook here pretty soon go and check out the silo art done look at that done 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 430 kilometers so we will we will I mustn't forget to get a photo for plug chair maybe we'll get a picture for plug chair as you do I want to get it nice and high because it goes underneath it's pretty, looking pretty good to me and maybe get one from this side there we go cars ramping down again there's the toilets Actually, that might be a better photo for plug share to show people the uh, show people the toilets in the background. Looking pretty good. Damn good, damn good, damn good. So here we go. This is how you unlock an electric car or unplug. If 
undo the cable. Flashing, flashing, flashing. There we go. Hook. Bram, bram, bram. Thanks, Tritium. You're not so bad. You do a good job. You always do a good job for me. There's the EV charger. Go EV. Go EV. Alright. Close it up. I hear the train whistle. And there we go. All charged up. All good. Very good. Let's keep going to Tail and Bend. Okay, we're here at the silos at Caniva and look at that beautiful hawk. I, I need to look that up in a bird book to see what it is, whether it's a red tail hawk or um, goshawk, brown goshawk. Not sure. Beautiful flowers. They're very artistic by David Lee Pereira. Yeah, I'm not sure if you're seeing it because of the light. Just go and there's a, off to the side, maybe might get a better view. There's the pole star. Surprised all those tumbleweeds didn't collect in there. Hectic buggage, getting more and more. Yeah, there's this beautiful hawk silo. That's the second silo of the day, and we'll stop at Canalpin and get a few shots there as well. That'll be number three, so three silo arts in a day you can't complain about that so we'll keep going tail and bend here we come Boop. all right just to prove it is a total fire band day there's the fire, total fire band flag flying at the cfa station here in caniva so definitely a total fire band today everyone be safe be good hopefully no lightning strikes everyone will be safe but as we know heating planet more hot days drying out we're going to have more fires unfortunately because everyone loves to drive their SUVs and burn 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 their fossil fuels so yeah time to stop burning shit and clean up the planet and maybe we can turn things around I'm sure our CFA volunteers would be very happy about that. Right, we did the, <coughs> almost forgot to do the plug share, but we did that while we waited for the silos. Look at that beautiful, eh? Um, hey Google, navigate me to the EV charger at Tail and Bend. Oh, you know. Navigating to Tail and Bend. Saying 26%, but we'll, we'll um, get that for sure. Hey Google. All right, there we go. We got it in the end. So we'll just do that and we'll get there with 26%. All right, let's get the road. Uh, we're going to stop at the Canalpin, I think it's Canalpin silos on the way there. Very good.